Welcome back to Chef Joni's Kitchen. Uh, today I want to show you how to make siu mai. This is a, a dim, dim sum dish. Uh, and uh, the ingredients are as follows. I'm not going to use all the things here. Uh, this is extra for my... I will show you the amount I will put in afterwards. I have uh, prepared here um, ginger chopped, garlic chopped, uh, this is cornstarch, some chopped up green onion, cilantro, I love the taste of cilantro. If you don't like any of these things, you can uh, cut cut off, optional. Okay, or uh, these flavors. And then uh, this is uh, soy sauce. I like to have some, the taste of soy sauce in the meat. And then this is uh, wine. If you don't like, uh, you allergic to wine, don't put, have to put wine. Sesame oil. And then salt and pepper to taste and this carrot that's chopped finely is to top the thing as you might make it uh, attractive uh, some people just I saw in some videos they put prawns on top so I didn't want to mix the meat and the prawns here so it's just a siumai um, meat and uh, here is water chestnut. I have quite a lot here, about three. And about 300 to 500 to 350 gram of meat ground pork. And one packet of uh, this one tan skin. Don't buy the square one because then the corners will be jutting out and it will be hot when you steam it. It doesn't taste good. I've tried that. So get a round one. So now we will start mixing the things. Okay. Okay, I have uh, mixed up all these things here. Throw, throw them in. I will give you the amount in the description box because um, the amount of meat I make is I have to match with the amount of things I put in. So I did not use up all the this because it's too much. I only use <coughs> about three quarter or um, about two of the water chestnut. I had three there. And then I use only a bit of this leftover. I overestimated, but I can use for other things. Okay, I only use a teaspoon of this and a teaspoon of that. Okay, and then I use half of this amount, just a little bit to give it a, a starchiness to hold the meat together. And I didn't use up all the green onions too. It will be too much okay so that's it and then let me taste and see whether <coughs> the saltiness is enough no okay so I need uh, some salt the soya sauce wasn't enough Taste again. Hmm. I think that should be good. I don't want uh, too much of salt in my food because it's not healthy. And uh, I have prepared this steamer. I have oiled the base so that it won't stick when I steam it. 
Okay, and I'm putting the foil on to get the um the heat the water boiling. Okay. This you put as much as you can into this and push it together. Okay. Put your hand around it like a to make it compact. And then you top it with a bit of the carrot. Okay, give the top uh, a bit of a squeeze to give it body and it will also help it to prevent it from uh, opening up. Okay, we'll make a few more. your hand uh, your thumb around it and uh, push so that it will be not be empty inside okay And then put a bit of this there, give it the color. Okay, you see the steamer is, um, I put in the steamer and uh, hot and the water was boiling when I put this thing on and uh, make sure that you have the green and the red it gives a very nice coloring and uh, also remember to oil the your pan so that it does not stick okay to the pan and here you are and in between I sprinkle with water if you don't have uh, a water spray you just can use your finger that's what i did okay i use my finger to sprinkle water on it and uh, and also very important is that you have oil your uh, steamer so that it does not stick Okay, so here you are, colorful and ready. Five to ten minutes, you just check. And um, you know that it is cooked because um, if you try the carrot, it is soft. Okay, and make sure it is colorful with the green and the red. Enjoy.